What if I told you that the very first lights in the universe may not have come from stars at all? What if they came from black holes, ancient, invisible monsters born in the first moments after the Big Bang? For decades, primordial black holes have lived only in theory, a cosmic mystery, unproven, unreachable. But now, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope may have just seen their fingerprints, hidden in the faint glow of the early universe. If true, this discovery could rewrite everything we know about how the cosmos began. Before we dive into the James Webb discoveries, let's step back and ask, what exactly are primordial black holes? Unlike the black holes we usually talk about, the ones born from dying stars, primordial black holes, or PBHS, are thought to have formed in the very first seconds after the Big Bang. Imagine a universe so dense, so chaotic, that tiny fluctuations in matter could collapse under their own gravity. Those collapses may have created black holes, not billions of years after the first stars, but almost instantly, when the universe was still an infant. The fascinating part? PBHS could come in all shapes and sizes. Some might be as small as a mountain, others with the mass of entire stars. Some theories even suggest microscopic PBHS, smaller than an atom, could exist, evaporating today through Hawking radiation. For decades, scientists have speculated that PBHS might explain some of the universe's biggest mysteries, like the rapid growth of supermassive black holes, or even the hidden substance we call dark matter. But until now, PBHS have remained just that, speculation. No telescope had ever spotted convincing evidence, which is why what James Webb may have seen is so extraordinary. When the James Webb Space Telescope opened its golden mirrors to the cosmos, astronomers expected surprises, but no one was ready for what came next. Webb peered deep into the past, looking back more than 13 billion years to a time when the first stars and galaxies were just beginning to form. What it found was puzzling. Objects shining far brighter than they should have been. Tiny galaxies, only a fraction the size of the Milky Way, glowing with the intensity of giants. According to standard models, there simply wasn't enough time for so many massive stars to exist so early. So where was all that extra light coming from? One provocative answer, primordial black holes. If PBHS were lurking in the infant universe, they could have acted like cosmic engines, pulling in gas, heating it up, and releasing enormous amounts of energy. That energy would appear as the strange, excessive glow Webb has now detected. For the first time, scientists had to seriously consider, maybe black holes, not stars, lit up the early universe. Among Webb's many discoveries, one stood out. A strange object nicknamed Abel 2744 QS01. It was spotted behind a massive cluster of galaxies, magnified by gravitational lensing, nature's own telescope. What Webb saw was astonishing. A supermassive black hole in a tiny primitive galaxy, shining from just 750 million years after the Big Bang. That might not sound shocking, until you realize this black hole is already millions of times the mass of our sun. According to standard theories, there shouldn't have been enough time for such a giant to grow. Normally, black holes start small, then slowly feed on stars and gas over billions of years. Yet here was a monster, fully grown, at the dawn of the universe. Even stranger, the galaxy around it contained mostly hydrogen and helium, the raw ingredients of the early cosmos, and very few heavy elements. That means it hadn't been enriched by multiple generations of stars. So where did this black hole come from? Some scientists suggest it may have been a primordial black hole, born in the chaos of the Big Bang. Others argue it could have formed from a direct collapse of a massive gas cloud, skipping stars entirely. Either way, Abel 2744-QSO1 is forcing us to rethink how black holes and galaxies began. 
As if QSO-1 wasn't strange enough, James Webb revealed another puzzle, the so-called Little Red Dots. These are tiny, faint, reddish objects scattered across Webb's deep field images. They date back to the epoch of Ryanization, when the first light sources transformed the early universe. At first glance, they might look like small galaxies, but their properties don't quite fit. Some are far too bright for their size. Others emit unusual radiation patterns, and many appear to host black holes that are surprisingly massive for such early times. So what are they? Some astronomers suggest they are young galaxies with active black holes at their centers. Others propose something more radical, that these red dots could actually be primordial black holes themselves or galaxies built around them. If that's true, it means PBHS weren't rare cosmic accidents. They may have been common, shaping the very first galaxies and seeding the growth of the supermassive black holes we see today. Webb's discovery of the little red dots has reignited an old debate. Did stars build the first black holes, or did black holes help build the first galaxies? If James Webb has truly spotted primordial black holes, the implications are enormous. First, it could finally explain one of astronomy's biggest mysteries, how supermassive black holes formed so quickly in the early universe. Instead of starting small and growing over billions of years, they may have begun as primordial giants, already massive from birth. Second, PBHS might help solve the riddle of dark matter. For decades, scientists have searched for the invisible substance that makes up most of the universe's mass. Some models suggest that countless small primordial black holes could account for at least part of it. Third, their existence would reshape our understanding of the Big Bang itself. If PBHs formed in the universe's first seconds, it means the early cosmos was far more chaotic and extreme than we imagined. In short, primordial black holes could change the way we see almost everything, from galaxy formation to cosmic history to the very structure of the universe. It's no wonder the scientific community is buzzing with excitement and a fair share of caution. Of course, not everyone is convinced. While the idea of primordial black holes is exciting, many scientists urge caution. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The strange light sources Webb has seen could have other explanations. Perhaps they are simply young galaxies undergoing bursts of star formation. Or maybe they are direct collapse black holes, massive clouds of gas collapsing straight into black holes without ever becoming stars. Even the little red dots might turn out to be something more ordinary once we gather better data. Right now, Webb is pushing the limits of what we can detect. And that means uncertainty. Skeptics argue that while primordial black holes remain a possibility, we need far more observations before making such a bold claim. Still, whether the answer is PBHS or something else, one thing is clear. James Webb has opened a new window onto the universe, and it's showing us things we never expected to see. So, what have we learned? The James Webb Space Telescope may have uncovered the first hints of primordial black holes, ancient monsters that could predate the very first stars. If true, this would rewrite the story of the early universe. Black holes, not stars, may have been the first beacons of light. They could explain the rapid rise of supermassive black holes and perhaps even the mystery of dark matter. Or maybe not. Maybe the strange lights Webb has seen are simply young galaxies, or black holes born from collapsing gas clouds. For now, the debate continues. But one thing is certain. James Webb has pushed us closer to answering some of the biggest questions in science. What do you think? Are we finally seeing primordial black holes? Or is it something else entirely? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey into the mysteries of the cosmos, 
Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more stories from the universe. Until next time, keep looking up.